Okay, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to draw a normal curve in the TI Inspire when you're running a one proportion Z test. For this one, it is a one proportion Z test because of the fact that we're dealing with a proportion and we only have one of them. Okay, um, for this X represents our number of successes. So this is how many successes we had out of the sample. Um, the problem can either give it to you as a decimal or as the number of successes. If it gives it to you as the number of successes, that's what you need to plug into your calculator. If it gives it to you as a percentage, you would just multiply your total number times the percentage and round to the nearest whole number because this always has to be a whole number because it is a discrete distribution, but we are using the normal curve to approximate it. Um, with this, I am not showing you all of the mechanics like how to check conditions and how to show out the formula and all of that stuff. I will put a link to a video that shows you how to do the entire process. I simply wanted to show you in the calculator how to draw out the picture so you can have the p-value shaded and know what to put on your paper. So to run this in the TI Inspire, there are some things that you need to know. One of them is our p naught, and our p naught is always going to be the percentage that we have in our null hypothesis. So this is our starting value to the 0.6. We also need to know our number of successes, which is the 214. We need to know the entire number in our sample, which is 350. And we need to know what tail of tests to run. So in this case, since it's greater than, we're going to run a right tail test. So let me go ahead and grab my calculator. And what I'm going to do for this one is instead of adding a calculator, I'm going to run this in a list and spreadsheet. So if you want to draw the picture, you have to run it in the lists and spreadsheets. And then you're going to hit menu and option four statistics. And then you're going to go to option four stat tests. And for this one, we are running the one proportion Z test, which is number five. And like I said, our P naught was 0.6. That's the value that's in our null hypothesis and alternative. X, remember, is our number of successes as a whole number. So in this case, they gave us the number of successes. If we were given the percentage, I would have to find that beforehand and convert it to the number of successes by doing P hat times N and round to the nearest whole number. N is the number in our sample. In this case, it's 350. And our alternative hypothesis was greater than, so I want it to be proportion greater than P naught. And I'm going to click this little draw button right here, and it's going to draw the Z distribution or the normal curve for us, and it will shade the p-value. And so I'm going to click OK. And what happens is it always gives it to me as a split screen. For me, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. I'm going to ungroup this screen. So to do that, I'm going to hit Control and the up arrow. And on here, it allows us to see all of the documents that we have open. In this case, we just have the spreadsheet screen. And then I'm going to hit Control and Menu and Ungroup. Okay, when I ungrouped it, it does show me the picture. So now I can go to it and it's a much bigger screen so I can actually see what's going on. You notice that it's centered at zero because the um, standard normal distribution is always centered at zero with a standard deviation of one. And since our Z is 0.4364, it's less than one standard deviation. And this value right here is our P value that has been shaded. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go and draw my picture out. That was a really bad line. Let me try that again. I have my board sideways. Okay, and so then if I draw my normal curve out, it's going to be centered at zero. I'm going to go ahead and write down the important information. It told us our standardized test statistic Z is equal to 0.4364. So this value right here is our Z or our standardized test statistic, and our p-value is 0.3313. And so when I shade this, I'm going to shade basically to make it look similar to what was in the calculator. The calculator can clearly draw a better picture than I can today um, and any day. All right, so now you can make your decision. Remember to make your decision, you're going to compare p-value to alpha. And in this case, since our alpha is 0 0.05, we can see very clearly that 0.3313 or 33% is greater than our alpha of 5%. Um, so we can say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. 
If you were running a formal hypothesis test and you had context and all of that stuff that was given to you, then you would need to interpret your decision in context. Um, like I said, I will put a link to one that shows you the entire process of a hypothesis test. The purpose of this one was simply to show you how to draw the picture in your graphing calculator. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.